morning and welcome to Greenhouse. Everybody joining us online. Tuesday morning is all about encounter with Jesus. And we know that he wants to pour out his love. And specifically, we feel he wants to pour out his rest. So engage your hearts, engage your spirits. Today is going to be a day where you are filled up and refreshed. I'm going to pray and we're going to jump right in to worship. Jesus, we thank you that you are our rest. We thank you that we can come to you no matter where we're at in life. And when we are tired, you take us into your arms and you fill us afresh. You fill us with new life. You give us purpose again. You remind us that we're not just hard workers, but we're your sons and your daughters, and we can come close to you. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Just joining us online or here in person, welcome to Tuesday Morning Greenhouse. We can just feel the presence of God even in these first 15 minutes, so expectant. He's just reminding us that when He's our number one possession, everything makes sense. That there is nothing more precious than Him. There is nothing in our life more valuable than Jesus our Savior. So Lord, we ask that you would continue to reveal yourself as a thing that we cannot live without. Lord, we don't wanna try and take another step without you being our all in all. We don't wanna take another step without you being at the center of our thoughts, the center of our reality. Lord, we say we're, we're willing to give anything that we possess, Lord. Any, anything that's costly, anything that's precious, 
our vehicle, our, our laptop, anything of sentimental value, Lord, none of it comes close to how much you mean to us, to how much your sacrifice means to us. We were dead in our sins, but Jesus came. We were far from God, but Jesus came. And so we, we look to you this morning, Jesus, and we ask that you would remind us of how amazing you are. Remind us of how much we need you. Remind us of the love that you have for us. And we wanna, we wanna respond in that love. Thank you, Jesus. This is all I 
about if we have the right things to say it's just about giving what's at the the bottom of our heart he's not looking for some polished prayer he's just looking for the gut of our love he's looking for us to dig deep and say I just need you Jesus I just love you Jesus and it pleases his heart so much I don't want to I don't want you guys to feel like you need something really professional in order to love Jesus. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a seminary student in order to love Jesus. If you can just tell him that you need him from the depths of your heart, that is what truly matters. So this morning, Jesus, we tell you that we need you. We say that we are nothing without you. We say that we were lost without you. We want you to understand how desperately we love you. We'll say it over and over and over again because we mean it every single time, Jesus. We mean it every single time. We, we throw ourselves at your feet because we don't know what else to do. We're willing to do whatever it takes to get it across so that we can show you how much you mean to us, how much we need you, how much we love you. I'm in love with you, Jesus love with us, Jesus. Let it be that simple.
that we are saved, not by our own works. And I just feel His kindness falling on this room this morning and removing all strife. I feel Him coming around those who are on tour. I feel Him restoring and refreshing. Where any veil got put up, any wall got built between you and the Lord is a stiff arm. It's unintentional, but he's breaking it down right now. Come a little close. Come a little close. Come a little close. You're inviting us in, Lord. Come a little close. Come a little close. as a son and a daughter is wrapped up that you were purchased by the blood of Jesus and it's not by your works but it's about the finished work it's not about what you can do for God it's about what God did for you That is where we're meant to find our rest. That revelation, what Jesus has done for you, there is rest in that revelation. God, we ask for that revelation to hit us this morning, to hit us this morning, that we are yours, that you bought us at such a costly price, one that you were willing to give, one that you freely gave. that revelation this morning that we are yours that our identity is not about how hard we can work for you but about what you did for us in Jesus name
says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest is not the absence of work, it's the presence of Christ. Rest is not the absence of labor, it's the presence of a love that cannot be quenched. We live in that place of rest, Lord. We, We live in that place of coming to you. We come to you when, when our hearts are heavy. We come to you when, when we're not sure where to step, Lord. We come to you because you made a way for us to draw near. And we thank you that when we come to you, you offer us what our souls need, rest. You are a portion. You give us rest. You give us rest. You give us rest, Lord. We take time, Lord. We take time to sit in it. Say what you want to say. We lay it all down. We lay it all down. We lay it all down before you, Lord. Come to me. You say. Jesus longs to give you rest. And it's rest, not a, not an exchange for something. It's just come to me. I'll take the heaviness off you. Come to me. I'll take the burdens off of you. It's not even fair, but he says, I, I want to give you rest. You were created for rest. You were created to walk with me in the cool of the day. You were created in the beginning of time that you would know and experience rest for your souls rest for your souls take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls God we ask that we would understand you are gentle and lowly you are not a hard taskmaster. you are a humble man who wants to give us what our souls need, what our souls truly need. A humble man who longs to give us rest. Let us enter into the rest this morning. Let us enter into the rest for our souls. You have provided us with rest. You have provided us with rest. to man coming to my senses you meet me in my grumbling you give me my portion the flesh and heart may fail me your strength is there to hold me keeping my heart steady you are my portion Oh, you are my portion, you are my portion, yeah, you are, you are my portion, oh, Oh, 
declare that yeah, you are my portion. You are my portion. Oh, you are my portion. Hey, you are my portion. Moses. Moses said, I'm not going into the promised land without you. The promised land is not the promised land without the presence of my God. Lord, we say that the presence that dwells inside of us, that is our focus, Lord. That is our focus. That is how the kingdom of heaven is established on this earth not by all the great works that we can do, but because your spirit is dwelling inside of man. And we ask, Lord, that you would be our portion this morning before anything that we can do, before any righteous work, God, we ask that the righteousness of Christ would abide inside of us, would dwell richly inside of us. Let us be like Moses. We don't just want the gifts, we want the giver, we don't just want the the miracles we want the miracle one we want the one who is the miracle for us we ask that you would be our portion you would be our portion Rest, Lord. 
you just to stand up right now if you feel like man I have really tried to do something and I'm at the end I don't I don't know how to make this happen I feel like God wants you to give it to him afresh he doesn't want you to carry something that he's not asking you to carry it says that his yoke is easy and his burden is light if you feel weighed down then it means that you've got the wrong burden on you because Christ's burden is actually light And I feel like he wants to take that unnecessary burden from us this morning. That's what the scripture is saying. My yoke is easy. 
I don't want you to walk through this life feeling like you can't do it. That's not how you follow Jesus. Yes, it might be hard, but the burden is not going to snuff you out. It's not going to weigh you down. It is light when we walk with him. So just open your hands if that's you in this room or open your hands if you're watching on the live stream. Lord, right now we ask that you would take that burden off in Jesus' name. Your blood poured out. Your blood poured out means that we don't have to carry that burden any longer. We give that burden to you. We remind ourselves that, that when we rest in you, it's a level of trust that you are going to do the thing that we cannot accomplish without you, Lord. We cease from trying to make something happen, and we trust that you are going to do it in the perfect timing. We give it fresh to you, God. The worries and the cares. Some of you are worrying about your family members who don't know Jesus. The Lord says, give me that burden. Some of you are worrying about finances and about school. How am I going to get out of debt? The Lord wants to take that burden from you. Some of you are just, you're, you're bogged down because you know someone who, who needs a miracle, who's, who's sick. And the Lord said, give me that burden. My burden is light. Trust in me this morning. God, we ask that we would enter into the rest that is just completely, completely trusting in, the, in your perfect timing, in your perfect ways. We don't want to carry something that we are not meant to. You carried the cross so we wouldn't have to carry these burdens. And we let you carry this for us. We yoke ourselves with you. Help us keep in step with you this morning. Let's, let's sing that again. Your yoke is easy and your burden is so light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sing this together in the room. Come on, let's sing this together. Your yoke is easy. Declaration, a declaration. Your yoke is easy, your burden is so light. Your yoke is easy, your burden is so light. Your yoke is easy, your burden is so light. Your yoke is easy, your burden is so light. Your yoke is easy, your burden is so light. Lift it off you right now. Feel that weight just come off your shoulders. He's taking it away. He's taking it away. Thank you, Jesus. This is our declaration. Your yoke is easy. The burden is light. We can walk with you, Jesus. We can walk. We don't stumble when we walk with you, Jesus. our cares upon you <sighs> throw your cares upon him this morning we cast our cares cast your cares on the one who cares yes lord yes lord we cast our cares on the one who cares sing i cast i cast my cares because you care because you Sing it out. Oh, I cast my cares because you care. Oh, I cast my cares because you care. Oh, I cast my cares because you care. I cast my cares. 
cast our cares because he's, he's trustworthy. He's trustworthy. We trust you this morning, Jesus. All the impossible things that we can't move, we trust you will move them. We trust that you will make a way in your perfect timing. We let go of trying to strategize how to make something happen. And we enjoy the rest that you want to give us. And we trust you this morning.
encountered somebody and uh, felt a nudge from the Lord to ask them if I could pray for them. And when I asked them, they just straight up said to me, yeah, I need prayer. I'm, I'm just really stressed. And I was shocked at their honesty because I had only been talking to them for about a minute. Um, someone that I didn't have any relationship with. And I was like, well, can I read to you a verse that I feel like the Lord has put on my heart for tomorrow with my community? We're going to be praying this out and we're going to be receiving this. And so as we wrap up today, if you feel, if you feel stressed, even people online, if you're feeling stretched, if you're feeling like overwhelmed, I, I just want to make sure that you receive prayer from another person in this room. And I know it's kind of maybe a little bit scary to say, yeah, I'm stressed right now. I need prayer. But when we're honest with God, then he's able to come in and, and deal with the issue, you know? So if, if that's you, just go ahead and raise your hand. Don't, don't be shy about it. And I would love for some of us just to gather around people who are feeling a little bit stressed right now and, and just pour out God's mercy and his love over them. If, if you're online and, and you're raising your hand all by yourself, I wanna pray for you as we wrap up. Lord, I ask right now that the peace that passes understanding would wash over every single person that is feeling overwhelmed, that is feeling stressed, that is feeling stretched beyond their ability. We say that we can come to you and that you will take that away from us. That heaviness, that heaviness is not our portion. That heaviness is not what you want us to hold on to. And we say that we will not be anxious about tomorrow. You command us not to be anxious about tomorrow, Lord. So we just, we just reject that. We reject the anxiety. We reject the worry. We, we're not going to take that on. Instead, we are going to take on your yoke, your burden, a burden that doesn't weigh us down, but a burden that, that helps us know your heart for humanity, that helps us know your heart for the lost. And it's not a knowledge that overwhelms us. It's a knowledge that makes us go, okay, if you're with me, we can do this. Okay, if you're with me, then heaven will be established. And I ask right now that anything that's holding you back from clinging on to Jesus would be removed from your life right now. Run to him, cling to him, let go of the baggage, let go of the burdens and take on his yoke, take on his yoke. Thank you, Jesus. We just release that rest over every single person in this room, every single person online. We love your rest. We love your ways. Trusting in your rest, trusting in your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. Such a beautiful encounter with Jesus as our rest. We're going to be going live again tomorrow, Wednesday, 8.30. Please join us. We love these times of prayer and worship. If you're in the area, stop by. We're at the Crossing Church. Look it up. Show up. I promise that God will meet you. Have a wonderful day.